your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. That's been a wet go of it for us here on Thursday as anticipated and we continue to get wet across southwest central and south side Virginia. Some of the heaviest rain right along that 460 corridor going from Montvale through Thaxton, Bedford over towards areas in and around Forest. Also seeing the rain starting to let up in Covington and Clifton Forge, but the rain is falling quite heavily out across parts of Rockbridge County, Fairfield, Rafine, even Lexington seeing some moderate rain. Also some moderate rain being reported out across Lovingston and Amherst and Amherst and Nelson County. All of this pushing to the east at a clip of around about 30 to 35 miles per hour. So make it a little bit of a break in the rain for us here uh, in the mid evening hours. Again, it's not going to be a long break. It's going to be maybe an hour or two of a break before the rain starts to fill in a little bit more closer to midnight. And then as we head, say, towards 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, may get another little break in the rain before the rain really comes back in full effect as we head, say, between 5 and 7 a.m. on Friday. It's going to be a wet commute for you tomorrow morning, but it's mainly going to be rain with the exception of maybe a little bit in the way of some freezing rain and sleet out across, say, Grayson, Bland, and maybe Highland counties. Notice that by lunchtime on Friday, you may actually start to see the rain ending in the mountains and at least most of the mountain communities, but the rain still happening in areas along into the east of the parkway, even towards Lynchburg and south side, though the rain will tend to let up as we head say towards uh, dinner time on Friday. Clouds will actually start to break for us then as we head into Friday night and Saturday should be a day where we see the return of sunshine. That said, Still a little bit of leftover cloud cover early in the day towards the mountains, but even in the mountains, you're going to break out in more sunshine by Saturday afternoon. So the weather impacts, we're going to see an additional quarter of an inch to maybe an inch of rain, okay? And you need to know that we're going to continue to have snow melt taking place. It's caused by the rain and it's caused by the warmth. Temperatures are actually going to go up this evening. Flooding, while not likely, it can't be ruled out in areas west of the parkway. It would be localized, nothing widespread, but it's something we'll monitor very closely for you. Looking to the weekend, it now looks like Saturday and Sunday are dry. No worries now on Sunday. We're looking at this north and south wind disjointed, and that means the odds of wintry weather are basically null and void. OK, so it looks like Saturday, Sunday were dry by Monday may have the chance for a couple of mountain snow showers, but the weekend no weather worries. 47 right now in Lynchburg, already up to 50 in Blacksburg, 45 Martinsville and 50 in Danville and temperatures will continue to go up for us tonight and they're going to fall throughout the day tomorrow. Look at this NRV at 7 a.m. 54. You're falling to 45 by one. Lynchburg at 7 a.m. tomorrow, 60 degrees, falling to around 54 by lunchtime. And there's fog around too. Fog at its most dense out across the highlands, the uh, Roanoke Valley, over towards Lynchburg and even towards Southside. So please be careful traveling this evening. Mild temperatures overnight tonight as again they increase. Temperatures are mainly in the 40s and 50s tonight. Often on rain tomorrow, especially in the morning, but we're staying warm before temperatures fall later in the day. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s before falling into the 40s by the afternoon. Upper 30s, lower 40s this weekend, Saturday, Sunday dry. Temperatures do rebound between 46 and 51 Monday through Thursday of next week. John.